Please back away from this area. You shoot the sound in the window or the door, and they leave. What is up you guys, I'm Charming, so today I'm going to be reacting to Mind Blowing Conspiracy Theories by Shane. Now, I actually really likes, uh, really likes, what is wrong with my head? I really like Shane Dawson's uh, conspiracy theory videos, they're really interesting, and I like that, I like creepy videos, if you don't know, but, uh, yeah, with that being said, hopefully this is going to be, hopefully this is going to be awesome. Hopefully it doesn't freak me out too much, because I've been having weird dreams recently. Like, last night I had one, it was quite terrifying. For, for whatever reason, I was dreaming that World War II planes just kept flying around my house, like, you know, around the neighborhood, just constantly. And, like, you hear them fade in and out with their... And I don't know why, but that's freaking terrifying. Just constantly flying or I don't know why. I've had dreams kind of similar to that before. It's really bizarre, and I don't need to be any more freaked out. I don't know why I'm having these dreams, but hopefully this does not make them worse. Anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description. Uh, also, I should mention, this is going to be a very long video. I might have to break this up into a couple parts. So, yeah, with that being said, let's begin. Warning. What you are about to watch may make you question everything you thought you knew. Viewer discretion is advised. What a crazy intro. I love it. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Now today we're going to be talking about a lot of different theories. Some involving subliminal messages that have been around for your whole life. Uh, oh, I hear his father! Stop it! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! We're also going to be talking about some of the dark secrets involving the world's biggest pop stars. Also, a possible warning sign that humans are going to be exterminated. And for the first time, I let somebody tell me a conspiracy. And it's from one of the biggest conspiracy theorists I know. Alex Jones? My own brother. And oh. what he told me was mind-blowing. Ew! Oh my god! Right? Ew! So ew! About now before we get started... I can't wait! I have to say, these are all just theories, none of them are facts. And they're not meant to hurt anyone, any company, or any... All right, let's get started. Laurel. I know what you're thinking. The Laurel and the, uh, was it, what's that? It's Laurel and Larry? Laurel and Vinny or something? I forget what it was. The Laurel and, Laurel, and, I, I want to say Hardy, but I know it's not Laurel and Hardy. Oh, friggin' no. Jane, are you really going to be talking about Yanny versus Laurel? Yanny! Yes, but not in the way that you would expect. So for the one person out there who doesn't know about this, who's there? Yanny versus Laurel took over the internet and took over the world. Well, if you haven't heard about this yet, let me tell you, you probably will by the end of the day. What do you hear in this audio clip? The word Laurel or Yanny? Is it Yanny or Laurel? <laughs> Just raise, raise your hands. hands, everybody who heard Yanny. Okay, you don't have to clap. Yanny <laughs> or Laurel? Who here? I've heard. I've. I actually heard both. I heard both. It, and I know it is Laurel, like what he's actually saying is Laurel, but I've heard both, and it, it depends what you're listening to it on. It's Laurel. Then I got to work, I played it, and all I could hear was Laurel. Oh, I didn't it's hear It's really that. weird. So I heard oh, Laurel, I Laurel, Laurel, and now I can't, I can't hear Laurel anymore. I'm hearing oh my goodness. Nanny. I'm That's right. It was on the news. Every single celebrity was talking about it. Laurel. 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 YouTubers were reacting to it. Laurel. Yanny! Yeah, <laughs> Even the White House did a video about it. I hear Kofefe! Yeah. So clearly Laurel. I hear Kofefe. <laughs> so a YouTuber named Chloe <laughs> found the clip on Reddit and posted it on her Twitter. I tweeted this thing today. What do you guys hear? Yanny or Laurel? And it went viral. Wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ellen retweeted it! Oh my god! Oh my god! And then people started interviewing the girl who actually created the clip. I was doing a literature assignment on vocabulary.com and I clicked it and I heard Yanny and I knew that wasn't one of my vocab words. So you're probably thinking- What? I- I heard it- I- what? 
I thought it was some like professor who made it specifically to trick people. That's what I heard. And now you're saying it's some student just like got the clip from uh, some vocabulary site or something? Or may, may, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just confused. King, I'm gonna say this whole thing was a conspiracy, and it was just meant to distract us from the important things that were going on. Laurel, it's it's Laurel, America. Definitely hashtag Laurel. So clearly <laughs> Laurel. <laughs> just blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's funny. That's funny. No, I don't think that's what it was. But it does correlate with a theory that is a lot darker than that. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, after Yanni and Laura went viral, a that? bunch of other audio clips came out that were freaking people out. This one was played on The Ellen Show, and I can't believe it didn't get more attention. I'm going to play you an audio clip. Listen closely. I heard someone speaking. I don't, I don't know what they're saying, but I heard someone speaking. Now listen to this. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. And now I'm going to play that first clip again. I yeah, I, I heard someone speaking on the first clip, but I didn't know what they were saying. But now that you heard the clearer version, it, it sounds like that it could be saying that. I know. Weird. If you haven't heard this thing yet, then you're probably freaking out. It's like a horror movie, isn't it? Here's another example of it that is even crazier. <laughs> and now, listen to this. The Constitution Center is at the next stop. And listen to the first Yeah, it sounds like that. <laughs> so what just happened was when you heard the clip initially, it was a lot of static and your brain didn't know what to make of it. But then in the second clip, you heard what the person was saying. So then when you listen to the first clip again, your brain knows what to look for and it hears it through the static. <laughs> How is that a like a conspiracy though? I mean that yeah, that just makes sense. It just makes logical sense. I, I don't know. Now these next few things I'm going to show you are examples of audio illusions. This is an illusion of hearing when the listener hears sounds that are not present. All right, first I'm going to play you a sound that feels like it keeps going up. Oh, there, this is actually an effect. I know there's actually an effect that does this. I forget what it's called, but it, it's cool. That's right, it feels like it keeps going up forever. And then there's versions of it going down. I know, it's so confusing because you're waiting <laughs> for the beat to drop or for something to happen, and it doesn't, it just keeps going. Now the next type of audio illusion we're gonna talk about is the power of suggestion. So watch this clip and think of the word brainstorm. <laughs> All right, now watch the same clip again, but this time think of the words green needle. And there's so many other examples. Yeah, that's crazy. That's freaking crazy. I, I, knew, I know your brain can do some crazy stuff like that. Where if like, if you hear a bunch of static or whatever, or if you're listening to songs in reverse, and then someone says, oh, he says this, and it's really creepy, right? And then you actually listen to the song in reverse, you hear that because you're looking for it. I, it's it's an effect that's been going around for years and years and years. Was out there. Just listen to this one from a Ti song. First, listen to it and think, "Cause I'm a paper chaser." See exactly. <laughs> now listen to it and think, "Cause I'm a big <laughs> slut." <laughs> I know. <laughs> wow. That's it. See, that's that's what I mean. Yeah, it's a power of suggestion. You know, your brain looks for what you're told to look for in that scenario. That's crazy. Oh, that one is crazy. But by far the craziest audio illusion is called the McGurk effect. Watch this woman and tell me what you hear her say. Ba, 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 ba. Do you think you know? Watch again. She's going, ah, ah, ah. That's what it sounds like. Ba, ba, ba. You still think you know? All right. Now watch it with your eyes closed. Ba, 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 ba. That's right. The whole time she was saying the word ba. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Just to let it sink in. What were you supposed to hear? Because that's what it sounded kind of like. I don't know. Even more. Watch this guy do it. Ba, 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 ba. 
ba 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 ba. So how is this happening? Well, your ear is hearing ba ba ba, but your eyes are seeing fa. Ba. Oh, okay. Yeah, it did kind of it did kind of sound like fa. But yeah, I mean, like I thought it, I thought I was supposed to be hearing some like crazy, you know, some crazy words or something coming out. Okay. Ba 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 ba. So I was curious ba, if I ba. could recreate this myself and try to trick some of my most skeptical friends. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, you, your mouth makes the same movement for both sounds, basically. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, now I'm gonna play you something else. Ba, 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 ba. I was saying ba, and that's just the word copy and pasted over and over and over again. Bah. When I close my eyes, yeah, you're right. I still bah. hear ba. That's so weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I have no idea what you're at the show. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you a clip of me saying a word. Okay. You just tell me what you hear. Sure. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ba, ba. Yeah, see, so your eyes see the F, the fa. Your eyes see that, and then they ass assume he's saying fa, because fa and ba are so close. Fa, fa. Oh, fa, fa, fa. I don't know what the real one is then. I guess it's you're saying ba, but you're putting fa on the screen. Is that what's happening? Ba, 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 no. Ba, ba, That's crazy. Ba, ba. I legit, are you saying fa or ba? I do not know. Ba, is that the same ba. clip? Ba, oh, here's Fa now! Stop it! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! Now, there's even more ways that the power of suggestion can work. For example, there's this viral theory that if you pitch up Post Malone's voice... It's oh, it sounds like Justin Justin Bieber? Yeah, I, I, I've seen that before, and it does kind of sound like it. Which, I mean, Justin Bieber has a certain pitch, right, when he's singing and that. So if, if you kind of sound similar, you just pitch it right, and it would sound like Justin Bieber. I mean, it just makes sense. Sounds just like Justin Bieber. Crazy. I mean, it's pretty good, but listen to it again while looking at pictures. Yeah, th then your brain associates it even more. My money, they will never fall. She's taking out the sonar. Watch out, oh, watch out, oh, watch out, oh, yeah. It and really does. Video footage of Justin Bieber performing, it makes it almost impossible to know if it's just Post Malone sped up or if it's literally Justin Bieber doing a cover. When my homies pull up on your blood, they make that thing go gra -ta -ta -ta. Hey. Now here's another brain trick that you can play It really does. That will freak you out. This is the illusion of the noisy gifs. Now this is when you watch a gif. Is it a gif or gif? Cuz I thought the creator said it was I don't know. Maybe I think though. No, I think they did say it was a GIF, and that drives me mad because this is a G, not a J. J is J. Freaking is drive GIFs. You can drive me mad. If that has no sound, but your brain creates the feeling of hearing something. Okay. Yeah, it's quiet. I didn't hear anything. Did you feel it? Now there's no sound, but your ears are reacting like there is, and it should kind of shake your whole head. All right. Oh. <laughs> you can feel the pressure on the sides of your head. If you watch it a few times in a row, your ears will start to ring because of how intense it is. See, this one, that one kind of does where I can kind of, I can kind of get it. But the other ones don't really do it. But that one definitely, the water bottle kind of going. I, you don't hear anything, but it kind of get the sense that it's, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. Now back to Yanni and Laurel, the whole reason we're talking about audio illusions. Now mostly young people hear Yanni because of the high frequency and high pitch. The younger you are, the higher the frequency is that you can hear. 
Oh man, that's Laurel. There's sounds on the internet that only people under the age of 20 are supposed to be able to hear. And it sounds like this. Don't, please don't be loud. Did you hear it? If you nope, I'm over 20. I also did a hearing test like uh, around a week ago. And uh, yeah, it turns out I have damaged ears. So yeah, I have bad hearing. No, I did not hear it. If you did, congratulations. You have young ears. Now yesterday, I was playing the sound on my computer, trying to hear it. And then Ryland and Andrew, who were in my house, started freaking out. Ow. You can hear that? Yeah, it's hurting my ears really bad. Yeah, ow. Oh my god. The dogs are freaking out too. It's hurting us. Let me see if you can hear this. <laughs> really? You heard that too? <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> Alright, so young people hear higher frequencies and higher pitches better. What's the theory? Well, the theory is that record labels might be using certain high frequencies and certain high pitches to brainwash young people into liking their songs. Ah, nah, that's too far-fetched. That's too far-fetched. I mean, well, if you just... Pop music. Pop music, which a lot of young kids like, right? Pop music freaking drives me nuts. Freaking drives me. It's because it the way it is. I don't know. It's not the sound of it. It's the fact that it's like the same thing over. I don't I don't know how to explain it. And also, why can your friends hear that sound but not you? Are your ears just as bad as mine, Shane? Cuz I I got freaking bad ears. I well, my ears are damaged. Now one of the biggest songs of the year was The what? Middle by Zed. So why do you just meet me in the now, in that song, you can hear this high-pitched noise inside the beat. Sound familiar? Listen to that Justin oh, yeah. Bieber song, Where Are You Now? And you might have noticed in the last few years, that type of sound has been in all the hit songs. So what is that sound? That's actually my vocal that they took and they messed with it. It's literally just a sample of his voice pitched all the way up. You the most. We're literally always trying to find something that you haven't heard before. Now this- That's crazy! I never knew that! That's nuts! This is where it gets creepy. This documentary video came out about how the middle was made. That song went through so many steps before Zed even got his hands on it. First, a producer came up with a beat and the melody. Then a songwriter wrote all the lyrics and recorded a demo. Why do you just meet me in the middle? Then they sent it to two other producers who finished the beat. And then, after all of that, they finally sent it to Zed. And he finished it up and put his signature touch on it. And what did that song supposedly not have until Zed? The high pitch noise. What if that high pitch little noise in the beat is actually making your brain want to hear the song, want to buy the song? And the younger you are, the more it works. What if now that's believable. That's believable. But when, when you first said that they're putting like the high pitched sounds or whatever in it, I thought you meant like they're putting that that tone that I couldn't hear. But you, no, because like, I can hear that sound. I can hear that sound. And there is something I don't know attractive to that kind of sound. But I guess just pop music in general, I I'm just not a fan of. Then again, if you look at rap music, it's like the biggest in the music industry, rap, right? And for the most part, a lot of the sounds in rap, they aren't like this high pitch, they're really low. So there's also that you have to look at. If you look at most of the rap industry, it's a lot of low, low sounds. It's not really that high. Zed figured it out. This 28 year old guy who came from Russia with this insane talent for making music and then just took over the world. I mean, I don't even listen to that type of music and even I downloaded it and had it in my head for like weeks. And I think a lot of other people did too. The Middle has been like the fastest rising song for me I think I've ever had. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? I'm losing my just a little. Now Zed is one thing, but what if the people in power learn more about frequencies? If they can make us love a song and download it, or make us hear words that aren't even there. It was saying Yanny. Mine was saying Laurel. Then why couldn't they figure out how to use frequencies to control us and make us do whatever they want? I mean, think about it. They could send the frequencies from space, from our phones, through the TV, literally anything that has technology. And if you look at the latest forms of... 
This might sound uh, a little bit, I don't know, this is kind of, it's on topic, but I, I should have mentioned this a little bit earlier. I've never actually heard Meet Me in the Middle. I guess because I'm in the basement all day, you know, editing videos and whatnot, and I listen to my own music, which, you know, it's, I like a lot more, um, you know, rap or slower music, maybe, stuff like that. I've no, I don't, I don't listen to pop music, really, so I've never actually heard Meet Me in the Middle. But, I mean, I have heard the Justin Bieber one. Weapons that the police have been trying out lately. It doesn't seem like the government using frequencies to control us is that crazy. Please back away from this area. You shoot the sound in the window or the door, and they leave. There have been instances where people said, well, what if they wear uh, earplugs or put their fingers in their ears? That really doesn't do a heck of a lot. Someone who refuses to come out of their house or a hotel room. As soon as you play the deterrent tones, they leave quickly. Stop it! That's crazy. That's freaking nuts. Technology is, uh, is way too advanced nowadays. Way too advanced. 23andMe. Just a fun, easy way for you to spit in a tube and send it off and find out if you're white. <laughs> European? <laughs> Okay, hold on. Well, what if it's a lot more than just that? If we oh yeah, no kidding, no kidding. Don't, oh my goodness. These places that take your, uh, you know, DNA samples, you spit in a tube and send it to them, sending it to them. That is possibly one of the dumbest things you can do, in my opinion. Because you're sending your DNA to some company, which most likely is going to take your information or whatever, and, and out, me out. I mean, no, no. No! We don't use human DNA now. Someone else will. So this is not sponsored, by the way. If anything, I probably shouldn't even be saying this. But there is a theory that the 23andMe kit is actually just a way of collecting all of our DNA. Hi, and welcome to 23andMe. Now your DNA <laughs> is ready for transport. Ready for transport. <laughs> ready for transport. This has grown the FBI database into the largest in the world, with more than 3.5% of the country's DNA on file. Why would they want all of our DNA? We'll get to that in a second. Well, if any crimes go down and your DNA happens to be in the area or whatever, you, you just become an automatic suspect at that point. Whether you just spat a piece of gum on the road or, or a, a cigarette butt or whatever, I mean, then you automatically basically become a, a suspect. So, um, that's one way. I was hoping this wasn't gonna make my paranoia and crap worse. I think it's probably making it worse. Ready for transport. 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 And get it on its way back to our lab. This is something that one of the 23andMe board members actually said. The what? long game here is not to make money selling kits, although kits are essential to get the base level data. Oh, interesting. I Once you have the data, the company does actually become the Google of personalized healthcare. So what does that mean? Hypothetically, 23andMe could try to sell you a bunch of things based on your health. Start typing your doctor's name. And even though they said that they won't sell your information to third parties, Google said the same thing in the beginning. But that's Google, Shane, not 23andMe, they're different. Well, in 2007, Google invested $3.9 million into 23andMe. Now Google's smart, right? They're always looking ahead. Well, in the future, what's something that's probably going to happen that's going to cost a lot of money? Age reversal. Imagine if you could turn back time. Well, today we're a step closer thanks to an Australian breakthrough. Well, I believe this will be the safest strategy out there to extend lifespan. This is something that's in effect right now. Wow. Doctors are trying to figure out how to reverse the aging process, how to make people live forever. Uh, probably indefinite life as well. If uh, if what people say is true and we have a population problem now, I mean, this, 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 this is only going to make it worse. ...spans very soon. In fact, I do not plan to die. Even more interesting, in 30 years, I will be younger than today. Not older, I will be younger. Uh, so Why? Yeah. Because we are going to have rejuvenation techniques. And these experiments are beginning right now. Well, in the future, when this technology exists, you know what you're going to need to actually do it? A frozen DNA sample from when you were young. But how are you going to get a frozen DNA sample of when you were young? It's not like you have that in your freezer. No, you don't. But 23andMe does. All right, that was uh, enough freaking out for today. Uh, I'll finish. I'll finish this video off tomorrow. I hope you guys like this reaction. 
I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I mean, the the DNA, the DNA one. What? Obviously, they store it, and it, I wouldn't be surprised if they sell the information. Also, the government has the ability to come into the company and get all the information if they want. So, I mean, I, I, you can't be surprised by that. But the the earlier ones with the pop music and that, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, if the high sounds make it like addicting for young folks or whatever. I mean, obviously, there might be some truth to it. But then, if you look at the massive songs, like you know the uh, the songs with billions of views, like a uh, Despacito. <laughs> Like, that freaking song, the most viewed song of all time, I don't- it doesn't have any crazy high-pitched sounds like that. And it's just annoying, <laughs> but it- I don't think it does. Then you look at Gangnam Style, it doesn't either. And there's a, there are a lot of these big songs that, you know, have the crazy amounts of views that don't have anywhere, you know, near the crazy, crazy high-pitched sounds like that. And even, like, if you look at the rap industry, it does not at all. It, it's- I think the rap industry consists a lot of lower pitch, more darker kind of tones to it, right? I, I don't know if I believe the first one, but the DNA one, I mean, obviously that happens. Obviously that kind of crap goes on. But anyway, I hope you like this. This is just a little bit more paranoia than I have in my day. Wonderful. But uh, if you did like this, give it a thumbs up, possibly share a friend. If you do, subscribe to the family. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Shane, and I'll see you guys next time. Boop.